What's going on, Pokey Villagers? Happy Halloween weekend. I'm feeling in the spirit. Got my progressive Halloween costume on, Jamie. I have the wig. It's in my wife's car currently, so there goes that. But I have a lot for us to go through today. I want to start off with my favorite thing. I know you guys saw the Umbreon that just came in recently, but the Espeon just came in as well. So officially the proud owner of two of the rarest, not just gold stars to collect, but two of the rarest cards to possibly have. The Pop Series 5 um, is a rather small set. Uh, wasn't really popular as well. So uh, the Japanese ones, for sure. The uh, exclusive fan club one is definitely one of the most rare ones. But as far as gold stars go, these are up there. So proud owner of these two. It's also Mel Day. I <laughs> cut a little bit of that out there so we couldn't see, but let's go ahead and get on to the first thing that we had. This one is what I got off of a TCG player. I've kind of been chasing this card for the last few weeks, so I was definitely happy to be able to snag it finally at a decent price. Now, full disclosure, babe, if you are seeing this, I promise you, I got this <laughs> before I said I'm going to cut how much I'm going to be spending on Pokemon. So um, I'm not guilty, I promise. So here we go. Let's get into this here. It is Team Rocket's Raikou. It is a beaut. Do they tape the top? I hate when it, the top is taped. Oh, it's a bottom top load. Or excuse me, a bottom loader, I guess you should say. So I'm going to get this out as carefully as possible. Oh my goodness, this will be a binder card for sure, depending on uh, the quality though, could potentially send us into PSA. So let's take a look at the back, just a little bit of whitening in the top left corner there. Uh, overall centering's pretty good, but I mean, look at it. It just sparkles off the, the, the cardboard there. So there we go. Let me put this back into its sleeve. This will be going into the binder. I'm gonna do a video here pretty soon with the binder cards that I currently have. So that's the first one there. Um, next up, this one for sure is what I've been anticipating all week, but I got a few slabs that just came in. So let's see. I have my little pocket knife nearby just in case I need to use it. Gotta be very delicate with these kind of things, especially slabs. So I should be able to just slide on out oh, or just break it all together. Boom, here we go. PSA 9 Tyranitar EX from EX Unseen Forces. We have Mew and also Flygon. Just, just look at those. I, I mean, we're really gonna stack them all up there. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. So awesome to have my PSA slab collection growing little by little. So the next thing I want to open on up is on over here. I just got this <laughs> two days ago and it's already shipped over to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and crack on into this. Now, it's not uh, TCG related, but it's still Pokemon related, right? And this is a Pokemon channel after all. So let's go ahead, rip open the box. And ladies and gentlemen, what we have is a Hallmark Charizard Halloween, or excuse me, not Halloween, <laughs> Christmas ornament. I showed my wife that I bought this and she wasn't a happy camper. <laughs> okay, a bunch of tissue paper. And here we go. You know what? I guess I technically played my, oh no, there it is. There's a little... Uh, hook there, but check that bad boy out. I'm gonna go ahead and probably add it on to the uh, background that I have over there. But yeah, sweet. Can't complain with that. And let's get into the big kahuna to which I have here. I've kind of talked about uh, this over the last couple of videos of what I've been waiting for. 
when you are enough of a Karen and complain, you get things brought to you. So GameStop decided that they were going to fulfill my order. So here we have three celebration tins that I picked up. I love that they were considerate enough to give me three different uh, <laughs> tin arts. So we have those. And then let me be careful. But what we also have, dun, 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 dun. we have the Elite Trainer boxes. Now I did pick up two, potentially maybe gonna get another one, but I thought, why not just rip into one of them today? So uh, I'm gonna be looking here at the quality of it. This one looks really nice. I don't see any damage to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back into the box. I'll go ahead and keep that one sealed. Let's leave the tins off to the side, possibly do one of those. But let's just get into the little pocket knife. This ETB here. So I haven't opened up a Celebrations ETB yet. I've opened up a couple of ETBs here on this channel. Just recently, actually, the Champion's Path. So let's get into it. The one thing I'm looking to snag out of this immediately is going to be that promo card, the Greninja promo card that is, which I have a few, like I showed last video. So adding another one to the collection there. There's the little booklet with the uh, cards that come included, such as the Greninja and the different cards within the set. These are great containers to have. Here it is. In all of its glory. <laughs> Let's take a look to see how we can tell the quality of it. Um, yeah, that's as great as it gets. So I'm gonna leave that one off to the side over here. I'm gonna keep our boy Charizard in the background. Just creeping on out. The dividers, block of energy cards, code card there, and some sleeves. I haven't had celebration sleeves, so keep that on open to the side for the hope that we pull something nice. Dice counters, and I think just the rule book, so I'm gonna leave that off to the side for now, but check it out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten celebration packs, two darkness ablaze, a chilling rain of battle styles, and a vivid voltage. So let's go ahead and go on in here and let it rip, Beyblade style. I hope everybody has a safe Halloween weekend. Uh, went to a little get together at Zach and Jay's yesterday. Wore the outfit here, progressive. My wife was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, and our daughter dressed up as Mal from Descendants, if anybody has ever <laughs> seen that. And trust me, I've seen it a few times against my own will. Uh, it's not that bad of a movie. But anyhow, be safe. If you're gonna drink, be responsible. Do not drink and drive. If I know you, please hit me up if you need a designated driver to come scoop you up. But getting on into the next card pack, and we didn't snag anything good. No worries though. Next up, we have the Chilling Rain. You know, hopefully we get one of those uh, God ETBs like we uh, have previously done in a video. Gosh, I'm feeling weak sauce today. Look at your boy struggling. The struggle is absolutely real. All right, we have Shuppet to start off this Chilling Rain pack. Yo, something's peeking on through Galarian Slowpoke and an Ice Rider. Okay, not to the uh, best pull that you can snag, but still a fantastic one. So let's go ahead and uh, use the Celebration um sleeves here i showed in the the last video the uh new binder ultra pro that i have so 
Gonna go ahead and add this onto the hits page. So I'll leave the hit off to the side. Let's get this on over. Okay, uh, we have two Darkness of Blaze left here. Let's see what we got going on. Torchic, get it going. Aeron. And we have a Hoopa Hollow. Not bad. You know, what I'm gonna be doing is the, uh, some of the hits that we get today, I'm gonna be putting inside of the packs and uh, handing out for Halloween. I think that would be nice. You know, it's hard for a lot of people to get their hands on some products, so that would be cool to be able to give some cards out to some of the trick-or-treaters out and about. Yo, Butterfree VMAX, what is up? Nice hit here. Let's go ahead and get this sleeved on up. This will for sure be something that I hand out uh, tomorrow. Today is Saturday. Hopefully I get this up today. Yo, beautiful. So, not bad. We've had two hits so far. Dude, Charizard, protect us. Grant us the best of pools. Please, please, please. All right, so um, I have purchased an Umbreon Gold Star because I'm impatient like that. So there's still a lot of things that I am missing. So Xerneas, Groudon. Yo, what a dud pack. But I am collecting the full set. So I'm going to leave these cards off to the side. Most of these commons I already have. I think I'm just missing some of the Pikachu full arts uh, for my complete set moving on up yo mega rayquaza ex and a pikachu dope look at that i love it i love it so let's get hit excuse me go ahead and get this one here in a sleeve as well man got some good luck today i'm gonna get this pikachu sleeved up i can't remember if i have one already or not i think i do though but why not and if not again i'm gonna be handing these out so cool nice little hit there get these packs off to the side all right two down let's get into this next one cosmog no no cosmog bad cosmog okay I'm hoping to get one of the big three, man. Don't even have one yet. Come on, Pokey Gods. Grant us. Yo! <laughs> I spoke it into existence. Venusaur from the original base set artwork. The back uh, centering is terrible from top to bottom. But you know what? It's a binder card nonetheless, so. Check that out. Charizard, can you please give us another one? And I don't know if I have Surfing Pikachu. Again, gonna still sleeve it up. Oh, that's awesome. I'm happy. Put that on off to the side, to the hit pile over there. And I'm uh, starting a little side pot over here for the other celebration card. So move that over. Okay. Let's get it on into the next pack. The Venusaur, man. You know, I would honestly say that the Venusaur um, Big Three is the best artwork of the three. I know the Charizard is the most expensive one, but if we're going solely based off of what looks the best, that's the one I'm going to consider. So. Yeah, what a great video we got going on here, man. A lot to see, a lot of good content here, y'all. Lugia, Team Magma's Groudon, and Surfing Pikachu VMAX. I know I for sure have that one already, but um, I also have this, but I actually don't remember where I had placed it. So it's nice to uh, double down on that. So let's get a couple sleeves here going. Nice. Not bad for my first Celebrations ETB. I hope that your Celebrations ETB openings have been, if not the same, a lot better. Okay. 
you know, maybe we'll see if we can get into one of these tens as well. Okay, we have four packs to go. Let's get it started. All right, I'm gonna put a call in here. I'm going to say, what are we gonna get? I'm gonna say Gold Star Umbreon. Wishful thinking for sure. Oh, definitely did not. <laughs> Don't listen to my calls, bad calls. I'm not a good betting guy. Three more to go. Um, but if you are able to, I would love for somebody to comment a few of you to let me know what you're dressing up as for a Halloween. Dude, I need your brother, not you. Damn it. <laughs> Speaking of you, I just finished you season three this week. God, what a shit show. Literally. <laughs> the things you do when you are married. So, I need a Zamazenta. Not to that one. Damn it. Oh, nothing that good, but Mew, I've seen you enough. I'm looking for your twin, the big twin, the gold twin, the shiny twin. But you know what? We'll settle for the uh, Mew that I just picked up that we looked at earlier on in the video. And another Pikachu. You chunky son of a gun. Put these on off the side. I'm uh, trying to preserve these packs as best as possible because I think that's how I'm going to um, place these cards for the trick-or-treaters. So, Chunky Boy down over there. And you know what? Let's just get into a Tin Man. Um, ah, tin Man. Let's do Pip Up. Alrighty, Pip, 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 Pip. And Chimchar and Turtwig. Let's see if I'm able to get this with just my hands. I brought the pocket knife out for a reason and I'm not even using the damn thing. All right, give it in. All righty, all righty, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's try doing this without cutting myself too. That'd be pretty nice. Boom. Go with the dynamite. Let's put these away. Yo, check it. Free Frosty 2021. Finish 19, rest in peace. Uh, Lakers. Shouts out to the Lakers, man. All right. Another Pikachu tin here. I've uh, opened up one already here for the channel, I believe. But here's the art card for that one. Yo, tin packs are not always the best because they're just kind of shoved in there. But Darkness Ablaze, two more celebration packs. Let's go. Let's get something cool here. Rallet. Wow. And it turn it is V. Yo, we've gotten some hits, man. We have gotten some hits. I'm happy about that. So let's get this one sleeved on up. Add this to the Halloween section over there. Okay, minus the Venusaur. I love kids, but y'all ain't getting the Venusaur. Two more packs to go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've stayed around this long. I appreciate the support. I'm gonna start uh, showing off some of the support messages that I get. Yo! <laughs> Surfing USA Pikachu and another Venusaur. Hell yes. Yo, super big. Big things popping, little things stopping. Venusaur, go join your brother. And surfing in the USA, Pikachu, you chunky bastard. Come hang out with the crew. You're gonna have a new home here pretty soon. And last but not least, one more pack to go. Can we get another good hit? Please not another Venusaur. I love you, but not that much. All right, here we go. And we didn't pull anything that amazing, but we still got cards and not everybody is able to get cards. Thankful for every single one of you. Thank you for checking on in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. 
Happy Halloween weekend, Pokey Villagers. I love you, and I'll see y'all very, very soon. Go Jamie Progressive.